In this video, we will learn about Google Colab, that is Google Collaboratory. With that, we will see how we can easily run notebooks on cloud. We will also see the Google Colab plans as well as what is GPU and TPU in Google Colab. After that, we will also run a sample program. Let's begin. So basically, Google Colab is also known as Collaboratory, through which you can easily write, execute and share your Python codes. And that too on your web browser. So you don't need to install anything on your system. This setup is entirely provided by Google on the cloud. That means you need to have only a Gmail account and a web browser to run your Python programs. It creates a notebook which is known as Colab Notebooks. Okay, whenever you will create a new notebook on Google Colab, it will automatically get saved in Google Drive. So you will be always having a backup. With that, you can also share it on GitHub by authorizing your GitHub account. Also, you can combine your executable code, your rich text, your formulas, your latex, HTML images in a single document using Google Colab. Also one of the best features of Google Colab, almost all of the major Python libraries that is data science and machine learning libraries also are pre-installed in Google Colab. So you don't need to install anything, just import it. Now I told you we will be discussing about GPU and TPU. So GPU is graphics processing unit and TPU is tensor processing unit. So if you are running a basic program in Google Colab, it's different from you running a program wherein you have a large data set, require more power from your machine. With that, uh, you want a high level of computing as well as operations. For that, Google Collab also comes with some paid plans. We will see this later. So through GPU and TPUs, you can get the maximum power from Google hardware. Since uh, Google Collab runs on cloud, it runs on their cloud server. So these servers should have maximum performance so that it runs your program easily. We have a free Google Collab also through which you can run your programs. But if you want the highest performance, you need to go for Google Pro and Pro Plus plans. Okay. So here are the plans. If you want a basic uh, program in Google Collab, basic Python notebook, Python program, go for the free plan. But if you want maximum performance, faster GPUs and TPUs, that is processing unit, you need to go for the Google Collab Pro or Collab Pro Plus plan. So Collab Pro Plus plan includes the fastest GPUs, more memory, more space, more RAM power. If you are having highly complex data sets and you want the maximum performance, go for, go for Google Collab Pro Plus. Through this, you can easily work around data science and machine learning libraries and perform scientific computing. So now we will see how we can run our first notebook. How we can start with the Google Collab to create our first Python notebook and run our first Python program. Let's begin. To begin with, you just need to log into your Gmail account. That's it. And type Google Collab on Google. That's it. Press enter. On pressing enter, you can see the official link is visible. Collab.research.google.com. Click on it. On clicking herein, you can see Google Collab open. You can directly create new notebook from here or you can go to your drive. You can upload, you can check examples, but I'll directly click on new notebook. On opening herein, you can see Google Collab is visible. At first, dot .ipynb is visible. You can click here and rename the notebook, just like you do on Jupyter Notebook. So I'll just change it. Okay, so Amit. Now we have changed the name. Now to run a program, you can directly type here. I'll just type it quickly. Let's say I'll type Studypedia sample program. To run it, you can press shift enter or you can click here. I'll click here. Here it is guys, we ran it successfully. Okay. Now let us add another code. To move to the next line, press enter. Now I'll type 20, let's say. Now let us print a simple example sum. Okay, sum is C. That's it. Now click here. Here you can see sum got printed. When I'll go to file, you can see it is in Google Drive now. Click on locate in drive. Now it will open Google Drive. 
and it automatically created a directory collab notebooks and here it is here is our file okay with that you can go to file and you can save a copy in github also you can check the revision history also you can download it downloading will allow you to download in the same format .ipynb or you can also directly download .py file python file with that you can also click on this plus check sign so that you can write something let's say sample programs to sample program to sum two numbers in python okay you can directly type it here here it is okay so we have shown it here go below let's say so now i can also add images here you can add images here also or you can also add you can also format as code okay you can also add emojis here so guys now let us download this go to file click on download i'll download the dot ipynb file and it got downloaded okay with that if you want to increase the font size of the editor you can directly click here settings after clicking go to editor here and you can see you can change the font okay i'll go for 16 you can also change the indentation as well as the as well as you can also display line numbers here click on save here it is you can see here and you can see font size increased and line numbers are also visible so guys in this video we saw how we can start with google collab how we can create a new notebook on collab if you like the video do subscribe to our channel Amit Things.